and welcome back to Suricata Crafts. I'm Rebecca. Today we're going to go through dyeing with natural dyes. I'm going to teach you how to make it, dye with it, and use it. Here we go. Hi friends. This is my dye pots. So I've got Concord grape juice because grapes are too expensive and they didn't come in Concord. This is red cabbage and you can see it's been about 20 minutes and it's already turning a beautiful purple color. Now the grapes will dye blue, hopefully. The onion skins would be easier if I had a white spoon, but the onion skins are a peachy color. And our avocados just went on and they're still heating up, but it's already turning a bit yellow. So this is fresh avocado skins and chopped up pits. So I'm gonna put the lids back on those and let them simmer for an hour or so. It's been a little over an hour. The red cabbage is looking beautifully purple. The onion skins are bright orange. The grape juice has concentrated down a bit and should be blue. And the avocados boiled. They weren't supposed to boil and they're still boiling even though the heat is off. So that one's going to be an experiment. We're going to see how that turns out. So we're going to let these sit with the covers on overnight to leach out as much of the color from the product as we can. Uh, meanwhile, I am going to soak our roving overnight um, and get it ready to dye in the morning. See you then. Good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning and we are up to dye some yarn. Coffee is ready, so we are good to go. This is our 100% wool that has been soaking overnight. And this is our dyes. So we boiled them for about an hour yesterday and let them soak overnight. This is obviously the red cabbage and it is pigmented. You can't even see the edge of the spatula that I'm using. Then this is our concentrated grape juice. And that's an experiment. I don't know if it's gonna work. This is our avocado, and I used fresh avocados, and not knowing very much about avocados at all, I don't know if they were ripe. So we're going to give this one a try. It looks like it's going to be a yellowy color, but you never know till it's dry. And then this is our <coughs> onion skins. And as you can see, it's unexpectedly pink and I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Now last night when I was putting the yarn to soak I forgot to add vinegar so we are going to add just a tablespoon of white vinegar to three pots because we have very hard water. So just a tablespoon, not enough to really change the pH balance, which might change the color of the dyes, just enough to get rid of some of the mineral deposits. So the first thing we need to do is we need to strain out as much of the vegetable matter as we can, leaving the clear dye behind. So I have a bowl to catch the dye we want, another strainer, but as you can see, the holes are quite big. So I have an old cotton shirt that I got out of our donate bin. And I want it bigger than the bowl so the edges don't fall down inside. I'm gonna start with the avocado, and I'm just going to slowly start pouring this through, letting it filter through the shirt. And 
and then the rest of what's left is going to go straight into the compost bin. So working from lightest to darkest, next we're going to do the onions, then the red cabbage. Alright, I've got all my dyes are clear-ish. I've got the onions, avocado, grape juice, and red cabbage. So I'm taking these skeins of yarn, the hanks, right out of the water they've been soaking in and placing them directly into the bath. See how we can get as much submerged as possible. And then I'm going to turn the heat on low. We, if you heat it up too quickly or change the temperature from hot to cold or bad too quickly, it will fill. Now we're going to do onion. That looks like it's going to be really pretty. Into the avocado. Going to turn all the heat on low, low, and low. They're going to come up to a simmer, and then we're going to turn the heat off and let them sit. Hi guys, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. Now this is un mordanted. It has no mordant in it. Um, I want to try with and without. This is going to be a very pale lilac it looks like. But the next batch, um, you can reuse your natural dyes for a few dyes. I'm going to add alum to it. But for this one it's going to be a light purple if we get any color at all. It doesn't look like it's sticking a lot. This is the grape juice and it is it's a grayish blue, grayish purple almost, going pale. So I'm definitely interested to see the difference between dyeing it with and without alum. This is our onion skins and our zip tie has definitely been colored. This one looks like it's taking the color really well. And it is a beautiful peach color. And then our avocado. I have a feeling if any of this color sticks, it's going to be an ecru color but it doesn't look like much is staying. I'm going to give this 10 more minutes. I'm going to turn the heat off, let them cool completely in their dyes, and then we'll rinse it, add the alum, and dye the next batch of yarn. I'm about to rinse them. This is the avocado, the onions, the red cabbage, and the concord grapes. So uh, the next batch, I'm letting the dye baths cool down again. They still have lots of pigment in them. I'm gonna let them cool down, add some alum, and put more yarn in. I've just added the alum to my dye pods, and you can see right away that it's changing color a little bit. There you go. So this is my onion skins, and I don't think we're going to get that pretty peachy color anymore. I'm interested to see what color this one's going to dye. Our avocado is turning green, eh, a moss green. The red cabbage is hard to tell. But I'll scoop some up in a spoon so we can see what's going on with that one. Oh, it turned, you can see part of it's blue and part of it's purple. That's where the alum is touched. And 
the Concord grapes turned red. So I'm going to turn I'm going to turn the heat back on and add my soaking wool and we'll try this with some mordant see what colors we get and how vibrant they are this is our yarn we have been at this all day um about 12 hours dyeing yarn in total so we, I am going to take these out. These have been cooling. Take them out, let them cool down completely. Rinse them and then hang them out. So just to go over it again, this is our avocado. This is our onions. This one is our red cabbage. And this is our grape juice, which is finally starting to leave some color, I believe. That one, I'm not quite sure if we can call it a success. So I'm going to take these out, let them cool down, rinse them, and hang them. And now for the big reveal. These are the finished hanks of yarn that we dyed naturally. This is our red cabbage. And it is a dove gray. It's really beautiful and it's got a nice tonal quality to it. And then when we added the alum as the mordant, this is what we got. It's a sea green. It is so beautiful. I'm hoping if I go in closer, it'll show you the better color. But it's a beautiful sea green with a touch of blue. But it's so surprising that it could go from this to this with just a touch of alum. Next up we have our Concord Grapes. Uh, this is a mauve. It's a touch of purple touch of pink and a lot of gray and it's so beautiful it's going to make something stunning and then we added the alum and this is almost a khaki color it's gray with a touch of green it's so beautiful and these all have a gorgeous tonal quality with some darker and some lighter spots this is the avocado and it is a gorgeous cream color, just a touch of pink, so neutral and lovely. Then we added the alum, and this one is a tan. It's creamy and just warm and snuggly. I really, really liked how this one turned out. It's very subtle though. And then this is the original onion skin. Let's see if we can find you some sunshine. This is the original onion skin. And it is almost an orange brown. And then we added the alum and it turned into a butter yellow. So we have a range from whites and tans to butter yellow to orange. We've got a uh, mauve with a little bit of khaki, blues into purple. And this is all done so simply, just such simple ingredients. And all of the cleanup can go in the dishwasher. Thank you all for joining me. We had a lot of fun today experimenting with natural dyes and seeing what we came up with. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I love it when you leave comments so I can see what you think. Until next time, have a great day and happy crafting! And we have 
a little friend that was just almost at the edge of my blanket here. Oh, here he comes. He likes the fiber too. Sorry, I'm just so preoccupied by this little guy. Hello, little guy. Oh my goodness. There's a chipmunk hole. Okay.